Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the ignition coil on your string trimmer and pruner, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Now remove the locking screw securing the handle to the engine housing. Remove the remaining handle screws. Use a flathead screwdriver to help separate the two halves of the handle. Note the orientation of the spring, then detach the spring to release the throttle control. Now remove the throttle cable from the control. Disconnect the switch wire connector. Now loosen the screws securing the upper drive shaft and pull the shaft out. Remove the screws securing the top cover. Pull the cover off. Next, uninstall the screws securing the clutch cover. Lift the cover off and remove the screws to release the old ignition coil. Prepare the new ignition coil for installation by transferring the wires from the old coil to the new one. Now position the new coil on the flywheel housing. Align the grounding wire and secure the assembly loosely with the screws. Make sure the magnets are rotated out of the way, then pull the coil back and tighten the screws. Now, rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the screws to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the screws and remove the business card. Align the wires in the flywheel housing and replace the clutch cover. Secure it with the screws. Realign the top cover and replace the screws to secure. Reposition the upper drive shaft and use the locking screw to help align the screw holes. Now tighten the outside screws to secure the shaft and remove the locking screw. Reconnect the switch wire connector. Reinsert the throttle cable into the slot on the control. Insert the spring into the control and align the assembly on the mounting pin on the handle. Make sure the spring is fully seated on the pin and align both the switch wire and throttle cable in the groove on the handle. 
Reassemble the two halves of the handle and replace the screws to secure. Align the handle with the engine housing and replace the locking screw to secure. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and your string trimmer and pruner should be ready for use.